Hello and welcome to the roundup of this year's final edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 15 December 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly publishing editor Martin Kremer highlights how Copper 360 is advancing in South Africa's Northern Cape. The business of Copper 360, a company that listed on the alternative exchange of the Johannesburg Stock Exchange this year, is focused on the processing of historical mined copper rock dumps through a procedure of environmental cleanup and the mining of surface and shallow copper resources. The engineering news features focus on the top renewable energy projects, where an energy company is driving the global move to renewables and the top water projects, where a company supplies a temporary treatment plant. The Mining Weekly features focus on the PMC Lift 2 expansion project, where Murray & Robert Cementation and Palabora Mining Company reach new depths in the Lift 2 ventilation shaft project. The top Platinum Group Metals projects, where the Caro Platinum project delays its first ore until June 2025. The top gold projects, where a gold developer makes progress on its Gauteng project. And the top coal projects, where a greenfield project nears full-scale mining. This week's business leader is Brian Andrew, MD of RS South Africa. And as this week's cartoon shows, it's been a difficult year for South Africans. It's been the worst ever year yet for load shedding and the corruption and mismanagement at Transnet have caused the collapse of the rail service and port system. Unfortunately, these things won't miraculously disappear come January 1st. We hope you enjoy the final 2023 edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next year.